It's been a damp and cold spring, but agriculture officials say it hasn't put area farmers too far behind. The rain isn't so much the problem, but it's the soil temperatures that may cause a hiccup in the process. They say it's been ranging in the mid 40s and it needs to be on average around 55 degrees for several days for any seed to germinate. They say that frost is still a concern with the fluctuating air temperatures that we've been seeing. The wet fall also had some farmers behind in the tillage process. So we might see some of that stuff go on, even if it is a little bit too cold to put seed in the ground. Um, but as I said, you know, within the next couple of weeks, I think we're going to get to that temperature where we could see some seed uh, starting to be planted. Facing is the availability of fertilizer and other products with the way the supply chain has been affected and the pandemic and the war in Ukraine. That could impact yields negatively. Uh, a lot of farmers are trying to plan, uh, looking at different sources of fertilizer, uh, changing their timing up as far as applications, maybe instead of uh, using as much up front, try to use more in season. And no, all those things present new challenges, but uh, there are a lot of options out there and it's just uh, forcing farmers to be a little bit more uh, inventive this year. Schrader says they're excited about the warm temperatures forecasted for the weekend, but the frost appears to be back next week.